Hello. Don't think I've seen you before. Some ammunition's on the shelves, but I keep the guns locked. Take a look at the catalog, and I'll pull out anything you'd like to see. Okay, now let me see. I maybe shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course. I check the munitions before selling them. Won't get no jams or misfires. Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. I'd keep away from the butcher's sausage. There's a reason he keeps the price so low. I've heard some unsavory things about that salesman, Virgil Fish or something. And the Yankee sympathizing is the least of it. Not done shopping? All right. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in there. Speaks for you. Just... Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. Thank you. Really.
Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing? Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
up. for the grays now. All right, come on. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ladies, Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? 
All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the now, food now. we fetch. The Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the message. We begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah! Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. 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 Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> <laughs> His philosophy intended hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, little... weren't we just leaving? Oh, well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Or what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but I'm kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. 
But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Yep. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way. On me. Ja. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah! And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of any... Oh, and did you two have a disagreement? Ah! Oh. Come on. different in this state we haven't come far it seems like it is get a move on Arthur. let's get this done okay what were you drawing about before these boys got a manner about them but i haven't necessarily noticed all respect mr morgan you wouldn't notice might call you a nigger lover they see us riding like this but most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their goals...
still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Let's... There we go. I don't think this oh, is the place yeah. to be leaving the horses. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hear that? Someone's on the track. <laughs> Look there. The whack. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Hey, should we ease off him? <laughs> we want to be this close? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. See anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. 
We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. Gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Oh, there it goes! Here's your guns and your money. Give them up. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's start these wagons, okay? Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? Search him. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. 
More about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But then no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. No. 